Okay, say we're playing scotch doubles, and uh, we have the strikes, and our balls just happen to be sitting like this. This shot could come up every three to four hundred years, right? So what I'm gonna try to do is pocket these four balls in one shot and play position for my opponent. I mean, my partner. Would you stand right there, please? Right here. Okay, now. I'm gonna play shape for the eight ball. Where would you like for the cue ball to end up for the eight? Right here? If I leave it there, you can make the eight, right? Okay, y'all heard that, right?
Now you all know that's not a legal shot, right? <laughs> okay. This next shot is one of my favorite shots. This is a... Corey Doodle does this shot good, too. He's a... This is a neat shot. Six balls in the way. I can't shoot the three in directly because of six in the way, right? So what I'm gonna do is make the three ball without moving the six, and I'm gonna shoot it straight in. Okay, and I'm not gonna curve it. You ready? Here we go, three ball. And the bonus ball. Y'all want to say it again? We'll do it this direction this time, okay? We'll do it this direction. That's an extreme squirt. Okay? <laughs> I will show you. Let's do another, I tell you what, 
we got some good players in the house. So I'm going to show you a couple of shots, a practical shot to some of video. Billiards 
more than to do in pool. You very seldom see this shot in a pool game, but it's a really neat shot. And uh, it's called a fuete, okay? You know what a fuete stroke is? This, check this out. This is a, okay, we got the, here, let's see. You got a cue ball in, you got a cue ball in hand. And you've got to make the one, two, and the three in one shot in rotation in that corner. So you gotta make the one, the two, and the three. But they gotta go in rotation in one shot. You can hit any ball first. So what I'm gonna do here is try to bank the three ball, four rails. Walk the cue ball across, make the one, two, and the three goes, four rails, and they'll be in rotation. In less than 100 shots.
Okay, on this show, I'm trying to make eight balls in one shot. One ball in the side, the two across the side, the three in the corner, the four to five. Cue ball goes three cushions, hits the rack, makes the three strikes. I did this show in a movie called The Night the Lights Went Out in Georgia. Did anybody see that movie? And instead of picking a beer up, I picked the body up off the table. <laughs> so, In the trick shop magic, they always gave us two attempts. You know, every table is different, so you got to adjust. So I tried to adjust this shot. This two went a little bit uh, short, so I tried to change it. My tangent line was off here, so I had to adjust that. So let's see what happened. I made an adjustment. Okay, 
each shot when two people shoot it at the same time. I'm gonna try to pocket the stripes. He's gonna pocket, I mean, I'm sorry, the solids, and he's gonna pocket the stripes. We're gonna shoot at the same time. Now, he probably never has shot this shot before. Okay, so what you wanna do is aim about right here on this ball here, so the cue ball's gonna come in about the diamond here. High level. I'm gonna go one, two, shoot. So anticipate shoot, shoot on shoot. One, two, and then shoot. And right, like I said, aim here, and nice firm shot, high left on the cue ball.
Yeah, it's fun. We had like 30,000 people over there. Okay, here we go. One ball. Side ball. Just like the movie. <laughs> okay, let's do a little shot. I'm going to do a 12-round uh, kick shot. And I'm going to test the six cushion first, okay? Uh, this is six or seven cushions to make the, the two ball. Sit the drink down. 
Do it that way. Okay? If you're left-handed <laughs> and you've got a drink in your hand. I put the eight ball up there and hand me about three strikes. Yeah. Okay, I put eight in the pocket. And here. That's a long jump if I tried to jump over the red ball, right? So what I'm gonna do is jump over these balls and then mass eight the cue ball to make the eight. Thank <laughs> you. 
started here in just a minute. Uh, before we do that, though, I'm going to make some announcements here. Once again, we want to thank, uh, welcome everybody, and thank everybody for coming to the 11th Annual Andy Clark Wyoming Open. Hope you're having a great time. We really appreciate you coming to Saratoga for this event. Uh, as you know, I'm Monty Thayer, the, the tournament director, and uh, you all know E.J. Glow, the tournament promoter who founded this thing. And uh, E.J.'s got all the envelopes paid up, and he's paying this thing out as if every division was filled up, which we had a lot of no-pay, no-shows. So that's coming out of his own pocket. So I have a big hand for E.J. for leaving that money in regardless. Thank you, E.J., and to the sponsors. Uh, really quick, I want to uh, give a thanks to our on-site services and concessionaires at Duke's Bar and Grill. Chris and Sonia Duke and their staff have been working hard all weekend out here, uh, buying cold drinks and food, so thank you to Duke's. Fisher's Q Repair, Shannon Fisher has been working out there all weekend. On the Rail TV, Lenny Marshall doing the live streams over here to put the Saratoga on the map across the world. TJ's Billiards from Grand Junction, Colorado, they're out in the lobby. Alan and Thelma Allen have been out there selling cues and accessories, so stop by their booth. Uh, some other cue sales going on. Mike Massey's got Duffer and Mucci cues, so if you want one of those, see Mike Massey. As I said, go to TJ's Billiards, they got a variety of nice cues out there. We got some DVD sales. See Mike Massey for the 50 shots every player should know. But this is a real practical DVD. It's not just about trick shots. It's about practical stuff that'll blow your mind, actually. So, so go see him. Uh, you see Rock, Rodney Morris asked me about his rocket science DVD. Uh, we got a DVD up here for sale at the main desk called Pool School. And that's by Corey Duell. It's a four DVD set for $100. Outstanding information on that. So come see us if you're interested in that. We also want to thank Bad Roll E and Josh Ramey for doing some of the live streaming and Cheyenne and they donated pictures for all the juniors with all the pros, pictures on it so they can get autographs. So uh, we want to thank Bad Roll E and Josh Ramey. And of course, a tournament like this has a bunch of sponsors and we got to thank those sponsors. Our master sponsors include the Carbon County Visitors Council, the Saratoga Lions Club, Shively Hardware, Hotel Wolf, Riviera Lodge, Duke's Bar and Grill, the town of Saratoga, Aramis Balls, Piff Ranch, McDermott Hughes, Dragon Promotions, Valley Dynamo Pool Tables, Andy Billiard Club, the Sinclair Wyoming Refining Company, Rasslin Tables. Those are our master sponsors. I have a big hand for those master sponsors. And our expert sponsors include Bellows Bistros, Platte Valley Community Center, Safe Rush Amusements, Cowboy Saloon, Buckhorn Bar, Recommend Collision Center, Rick Room Saloon, Mingles and Laramie, Smith Beverages, 1311 Kubi, Blackwater Septic Solutions, Grand Teton Distillery, Scott and Michelle LLC, Jacoby Q's, and Bad Roll Inc. Have a big hand for our expert sponsors as well. Yeah, and then our, our classic and sportsman sponsors include the Rawls National Bank, Valley Foods, Raymer Construction, Bigfoot 99 Radio, Drift, Pepsi at Rollins, the Whistle Pig Saloon, the Country Store, Town and Country Realty, Forster Landscape and Construction, Rustic Bar, Red Sage Spa, the Copper Line Lodge, the Hacienda Motel, Curry Dog Electric, Days Inn of Rollins, Eagles of Rollins, Platte Valley Accounting, Peru Printing, the Saratoga Hot Springs Resort and Spa, Wyoming Gal Boutique, Alex and Nicole Automotive, the Saratoga Sun, and the Rollins Daily Times. All these sponsors here help put money into this tournament with $11,000, and we're going to have a total payout of $35,880, and this is all done. So I want a big hand for all these sponsors that make this possible here in the center of Tokyo. Thank you to all those sponsors. Of course, an event like this doesn't happen without a lot of work from a lot of people. We want to thank the Platte Valley Community Center, Joe Elder and Robert Hoos for all of their work and their help uh, with this facility and keeping it looking nice. Our desk staff, people helping up here at the desk, that include Anthony Lucero, Andrea Thayer, Sam Winery's helped out, Lynn Duncan's helped out, EJ Glowed. I want a big hand for a lot of desk staff. Thank you for your help. Uh, our, one of the guys that's doing a lot of promotions for us, that's Charlie Williams of Dragons Promotions. He also put a video out on Facebook. If you haven't seen that, spend the time. A really cool video he did of a bunch of pictures of past Wyoming Open. So thank you to Charlie. Our table maintenance crew, Mike Kirby of MC Cubed and Christopher Kirby for table maintenance. Our table setup crew, Anthony Lucero kind of oversees that crew. We had a big crew of Jamie Daly, Chris Weisenberg, John Marich, Aaron Bond, Dave Jeffers, Scott McElvain, Buddy Cooper, and Mark Osborne. And then the Sinclair we, uh, donated some labor crew, Ricardo Martinez, James Johnson, and Omar Gonzalez. I have a big hand for that crew for all this setup. That's a lot of work. Thank you guys for that. 
uh, running some mini tournaments for us. Ian Lee down at the Rustic, and Pat Clifton at Dukes today did some uh, mini tournaments for us. We appreciate that. We got special guests here this week. We said talk about Charlie Williams, who uh, does a lot of promotions for us, does a lot of our, our social media work to help this tournament happen. So we appreciate Charlie. Of course, we got Corey Duell, the Prince of Pool, made the trip down here. Uh, Johnny the Scorpion Archer, Rodney Rocket Morris, uh, Mike Massey, Shane Van Boney's had a big hand for those pros for coming down and being troopers and playing.